Good evening, everybody. Let's tip things off with boys play. It's La Plata hosting Lynn County. Lynn County and Green jumped out to a 6-2 lead. Jared Alexander scores inside. On the out-of-bounds play, Andrew Perry gives it up. He gets it back, and he scores. As always, La Plata played tough defense. They will get the basket, and they would get the win 44-43. Same gym, same schools, same result. La Plata in white is the senior sensation, Rachel Shahan, who takes it all the way. Lynn County would counter with Lynn Wilson, who is pure. La Plata would answer with Taylor Snodgrass. She also can shoot the basketball. La Plata would go on to win it 58 to 32. The key was the Bulldogs defense. We came out, uh, played a little man-to-man -man early and was able to press early until we got into foul trouble. And then our 1-3-1 really helped out with Rachel Shahan on the top. She's long and athletic, and we were able to get some steals. Hey, how are you, Heartland? First off, the uh, Putnam County boys and the, no Nov and the North Shelby boys were looking to kick things off with winning streaks for the first time this season to Unionville. We go the Raider strike first. It's John Stoneburner who nails the hook shot. How sweet was that? The Midgets would respond. The senior, Josh Dodsworth, nails the midget money ball. But here comes North Shelby. Kendall Smith shows his quarterbacking skills down the court to Michael Orr, who finishes the play. Then the Raiders again. Lucas Daniels heads coast to coast. Spread the butter on the toast. It's good. Raiders up 7th at the end of 1. But Putnam County would rally and win this one 73-59. A tale of two different stories this season. The Putnam County girls looking to continue their winning streak in the Tri-County River Conference. Meanwhile, the uh, North Shelby Lady Raiders looking to win their first one. Let's hit the floor. Putnam County's Marissa Shuey finds Becca Millette, who kisses it off the glass. And good, the Lady Midget defense came to play. Dakota Owings steals it and pushes it up court. And 20 seconds later, she would find herself completing the play for two. North Shelby offense was scarce, but Savannah Preston, the freshman, would nail the jumper. All the Lady Midgets touch this one, and Dakota would finish it off. Here's that swarming defense we were talking about. Shea chunks it down to Samantha Shipley, who finds Camille Benes, who sends it across to Dakota once again to finish it. It's all good. Putnam rolls 46-17. Here's Coach DeVore and his top-notch defense. I'll tell you what, the second half we stepped it up. We keep that pressure up the rest of the year. We will, like I said, we can put pressure on other teams like that. We're going to be fine, get a lot of turnovers. Turnovers where you actually get a lot of baskets transition. That's, that's our goal because beginning of the year, we weren't getting a lot of baskets transition. We tried to slow things down, eliminate turnovers. And right now, we're actually pushing the ball uh, defensively. We're stepping up a notch. And, and like I said, we're getting a lot of baskets transition now. And a few scores for you this evening for the guys. Ottumwa beats DM Hoover 58-41. Davis County takes out Clark County 74-53. And Marion County takes out Nominger 37-34. To 34. And on the girls' side, Macon takes to South Shelby 51 34. Clark County beats down Davis County 44 24. And Novinger gets roughed up by Marion 77 23. Fred, we'll toss it back to you on the desk. Thanks, Chris. Over in Queen City, the Schuyler County boys were looking to get back on the winning track. Schuyler County in white. The shot does not drop, but Garrett Wilson will clean up the mess underneath. Then it's Taryn Treasure with the turnaround for Brashear. The Rams, Tyler Sullivan, shows us that the mid-range jumper is not a lost art. Tad Steen would get it to drop, and Schuyler County would win it big, 62 to 26. In girls' action, Schuyler County kept its winning streak alive with a win over Brashear. Schuyler County in white, Kaylee Session says basketball 101 is in session. Brashear would get that basket back with a nice play by Meredith Thomas as she drives and gets two. It's one pass, one dribble, and two points for Mallory Haley as the Rams would go on to win it 45 to 40. We weren't as aggressive as we wanted to be tonight. Uh, it just seems like we were kind of a little flustered and got some situations that we didn't didn't feel comfortable in tonight. And, and a lot of it dealt with team speed. In action from last night, Green City in the white uniforms improved to 10 and 1 on the year with a 64 to 59 victory over Putnam County. Next up for the Gophers is Newtown Harris Tuesday night at the Milan Tournament. Now let's check out the scoreboard. 